in the last video we learned about the functions in sorority and we have discussed a couple of important concepts which you have to keep in mind when you write your smart contract in this video we're going to learn about the state variable in sorority that how we can create what are the way to update the state variable data okay so that's what we're going to do in this video so here i have opened my remix id make sure to do that so the very first thing i want to do is i want to create a contract and i'll call it state variable okay and here i'm going to leave a couple of comments so you guys have to keep few things in mind about the state variable okay so that's the comments i have given now i'm going to define a couple of state variables to show you so first thing i'm going to take a string public and i'll call it my state i will take another one this will become my num and i will take another one string is going to be let's say default text and i'll say hey the default text and i will take a number public and this will say default num and i will ass assign initial value is going to be five and i have to change this one to num okay unt 256 here i have taken four state variable the first two state variable doesn't have their value but the second they do have okay so let me save it and let me try to compile it and let me show you what we get so if i deploy and if i open this my deploy contract here you can see currently i have zero ether into this contract okay so that's why you can see the balance is zero and here i have all these function and the reason i got this function because i have used the public keyword which i have already explained in the previous video okay so right now you can see i have five in this and that because of this default value i have assigned i have my default text as well you can see if i click i got this default text but if i click on this i get zero and if i click on this i get empty string okay i don't have anything in that so so that's how you can define your state variable in your smart contract and the state variable will always come on top okay so you have given the name of your contract and below that whatever you define that's your state variable okay so right now we have taken two data types one is number and the second one is a string but we have other data type as well so let's take a byte okay and this byte is similar to a string okay so when you use byte in your contract it will allow you to save gas fee okay it will allow you to save gas fee so i'll make it public and i will say default byte and if i pass anything in here you will see the output i will get you will see the output okay so the output i will get let me deploy the contract and let me show you what i want to highlight here so here you can see here i have the function if i call on this if i call this default byte you can see this is the number this is the exactly output i'm getting because this string is converted into a byte because we have used the data type to byte and because of this it's more memory efficient we have to pay less gas fee for this okay so that's the thing you have to keep in mind so whenever you pass whether hard code data or whether you take from the user as an input the data will represent in something like this in a byte okay the data we have here okay so let's simply replicate it and let's try to have a look on the default value if we don't assign anything what we will get the, as an output okay so let me redeploy the contract and let's try to have a look okay so let's change the name to num and let's try to deploy the contract one more time and if i come here if i call this right right now you can see we don't have any data assigned to this default byte okay number so this is how it will represent it will start with 0x and then the number of alphabet you will have it will take that binary code okay so hope this makes sense to all of you guys so this is how the byte data represent as a state variable so these are the things you have to keep in mind so this is the way you can define your state variable you can keep as many data as you want you can take array you can take boolean you can take unt array so there are tons of things you can do now let's come here and now what i want to do is i'm going to take another variable <coughs> array okay so you as i told you that you can take an array as well so this is commented this out if i come here and try to redeploy the contract and the output i will get you can see i'll get nothing okay because i haven't made public so i have to make it public so i can access this let's replicate this and let's make it public and let's redeploy the contract and boom and here you can see that i got this my number so currently we don't have any data into this array okay so if we do have any in data into this array we can easily pass the index and we can easily able to have the output okay so that's how you can define array if you call this nothing will happen nothing will happen okay so this is how you can define array as well so this is all the state variable and this is how you define in your contract and now i want to update the state variable data so right now you can see this is the two state variable we have string and number but we haven't assigned any value to that but we're going to do it right now with the help of constructor okay we have a detailed discussion on this constructor keyword okay constructor keyword sorry 
okay so just focus for the time being that there are multiple way you can update the data of your state variable okay so currently it's empty here i'm going to take this constructor and in that i'm going to pass the this two data okay so i have to pass the string i have to pass the number so i can assign that number to my state variable and this is how we can do it okay so i'll copy here and i will pass that because first thing is a string so i have to give the name of that data type a string and in soil you have to define the data type explicitly okay you have to say that what data type you want to take and here i'm going to use it memory again this memory keyword has a detailed discussion it has its own topic okay so that's why i'm not covering it just use it and then i'm going to call this anything okay and this is a general convention in the smart contract so whenever you take any data data from the user or as an input this is how you denote slash and whatever name you can give to that okay so i'll call it text and i would call the number as well now okay so this is our constructor whatever data we'll get from the constructor we're going to assign the data to our state variable okay that pretty simple so this is how you can update the data with the help of constructor and this is what we follow when you will create erc20 token so at that point of time you're going to define your name of the token and you're going to define that how many token supply you want and this is how you're going to do it okay so let's try to update that so let's come here so this is the data we have let's come here and let's try to deploy the contract and let's here we have to pass the text and by we have to pass the number so i'll call it let's say hey dollar and here i want to say six hit on transaction and if i come here here i have my logs okay if i click on my number you can see i got six and if i call my state i got this hey dollar so this is the another way which you can use to update your state variable okay so let me comment this out and now let's talk about the third way which you can use to update your state variable okay with the help of function okay so let's come here let's create a function so i'll create a function i'll call it update and the same thing i have to do is i have to pass the same data type okay same convention i have to follow here i will make it public and again there is a de detailed discussion about this public keyword that why we use and we have a detailed discussion about this public keyword what is public what is internal what is internal okay just follow along with me so what i will do now i will simply take the data my state and i'm going to update it same logic i have to follow here simply copy and paste here so our function is ready to update our state variable okay so now let's deploy the contract so let's come here and i'm going to select the contract and i'm going to click on this deploy and here we have the deployed contract right now you can see we have nothing in this two my num and my state and here i have to update the data so i'll call me here inside the function and now i'm going to pass the data which i want to update so i'll say is uh, and two okay hit enter now you can see the data is updated so this is another way you can use to update your state variable and that's the only thing you have to know about the state variable that how you can define the state variable in your contract what are the ways you can use to update the data of your state variable okay we're going to get into more details when we'll build the actual project ahead i just want to have you a basic graph idea that how state variable work and what are the way you can act with okay so we have done with this entirely okay hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys you have understood that what are this so with that i'm ending this video let's move to the next video where we're going to talk about the local variables in salty